has begun to replace lead pipes in Selma nearly two years after the city received millions in grant funding. And now more money is headed to our state to ensure clean, safe drinking water for everyone. WSFA 12 News anchor Rosanna Smith has the details. There's three phases. Dirt is moving to replace 866 lead pipes, some as old as a century, carrying drinking water to neighborhoods in the downtown area. I'm really excited that we are able to get all of this done. A $15 million grant awarded to Selma in 2022 made this possible. Mayor James Perkins says this is all for the betterment of the community. This is about the safety, the health and the welfare of our children in our community. This hole in the ground represents an investment, an investment in infrastructure that is really needed in our country. The move comes as a new U.S. Environmental Protection Agency rule is put in place. It mandates that drinking water systems nationwide identify and replace lead pipes within the next 10 years. It represents our commitment to ensuring that every family, every person in every family, can trust the water that flows from their taps. For far too long, Americans have had their health and well-being threatened by exposure to drinking water that is contaminated with lead. Congresswoman Terry Sewell says additional resources are on the way. A $43 million grant from the EPA awarded to the state will support lead pipe replacement and ensure clean, safe drinking water for all communities. That is transformational. It's not going to happen overnight. It's going to take us all working together and rowing in the same direction. In Selma, the second phase will involve all the residential areas. They hope to have that under construction by 2025. Rosanna Smith, WSFA 12 News. And the new rule and funding are part of the bipartisan infrastructure law.